So throughout the month of July, Chris of Unsocial is hosting this challenge called the Hackathon. And it's going to include 16 sewists, include, including myself. So we are paired up in twos and each group will um, have a pattern that they are going to hack and share throughout that week with um, everyone. And prizes and things like that are included as well. So if you follow the hashtag and the sewist, you can learn more about the hackathon. My partner is uh, Carol. I'll go ahead and put her handle here so you can also, uh, you know, follow her as well and learn about the hack that she's going to make. So Carol and I decided to go with the Butterick 6830, which is a wrap style top that has a peplum at the bottom and an elastic in the waistline. You have raglan sleeves and you also have different sleeve variations, including a long sleeve with a ruffle or a long sleeve that has elastic at the end of the sleeve. Uh, I decided that I want to omit the wrap style of it and do maybe uh, the center front on fold and not have a wrap at all. I also want to omit the elastic around the waistline and the peplum style top. So essentially I'm just going to have a raglan sleeve bodice and I think I'm going to create a skirt to go with it. And for my inspiration, I decided to go to the shopstyle.com website. And this first piece is by H&M and it's really gorgeous. It's in a zebra print fabric and it has a uh, center front seam. Uh, not a seam, I'm sorry. Yes, a center front with buttons going down the length of the skirt. And you also have ruffles for your bottom tier, a ruffled skirt for your bottom tier. It is such a beautiful, beautiful design. And this is one of the things that I thought about because I have two different zebra prints in my collection right now, which I am really dying to get out. This second one here is by, um, it's on the Mark, the Neiman Marcus website and it's so gorgeous it is the Sydney Paisley printed dress it's, it's called a shirt dress but there are no buttons on it it has this beautiful tear on the bottom on of the skirt that is gathered to the yoke of the skirt which I think is really cute and it also has a long sleeve with a cuff and a v neckline so I thought about that one this next one reminded me, the fabric itself reminded me of that brush stroke fabric that Minerva just um, came out with. I think it was like last spring, but it's really gorgeous. Again, you have that same style with the sleeve, the raglan sleeves, and also a V-neckline and a skirt at the bottom that is gathered. This one here is so gorgeous. It is on the Zimmerman website, and I forget who the designer is, but I'll put it here on the screen, but it is such a beautiful dress also have raglan sleeves ruffle on the neckline uh, that is gathered and you also have a, a skirt yoke and then also a really beautiful uh, skirt that is gathered onto that skirt yoke which is also really gorgeous the original price of this dress was $1,000, but it's now on sale for $7.70. But you know, we like to sew and save money. So this is definitely an option for me. Next is um, for the girlies who like border lace prints. This is a really gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Again, it is on the Neiman Marcus website and it has that same classic uh, raglan sleeve and you have gathering on a neckline with a tie detail and again you have a yoke which gathers on the border same style here as well the only difference is you know the type of fabric that you are choosing and then also there's uh, little small details like on this one you can put um, ties in the neckline by adding loop closures on the neckline and a tie detail and it has this Juliet sleeve which is really gorgeous and again it's a raglan sleeve but it has a Juliet sleeve at the lower edge of it now this one um, I feel like gingham never goes out of style a classic gingham dress for the summer especially if it's like in a beautiful orange or uh, yellow color which I have those types of ginghams so I thought maybe uh, doing something like that and then this last 
last one is um, the Rue Short Dress by Rococo Sand, and it retails for 300 and I think it says $85 here, which is really cute. Now this one you have smocking on the waistline and it does have a wrap. And so if I decided to keep the wrap, this is something that I would go with. Now you all know I don't really like rompers all that much. And so I would actually put a, a skirt on instead of a romper. But I think this is so cute and it's really easy to add a romper to it. It has long sleeves, but uh, it is made out of a chiffon fabric. So it's very thin fabric. And so you won't, won't have to worry about being too hot. But those are my thoughts and things that I have decided on, um, you know, what direction I am deciding to take my hack so you all let me know in the comment section below which one of these you think would be really cute for the summer i am dying to hear your thoughts and what you think